Hey YouTube, welcome to TCTN, chapstick time of course, even though I did do a base face. And I just realized when I put on the e.l.f. putty primer in clay that I didn't do my brows. <sighs> With the base face, I am trying the banana powder again under my eyes and I did put concealer on. And I'm still not liking how that's looking. I, I'm looking to me that it's pasty and grayish under there. And I'm not liking that. So I will be taking back banana powder. Because it is making me look like a raccoon underneath my eyes. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to do my brows and do my base face. And instead of speeding it up, I'm just going to come back. Because I'm going to redo a look that I did with the Viseart Bridal Satins Palette. Using this row right here. And also using um this shade here as a crease color and maybe this shade as a highlight so i'm going to go off camera do all of that and come back everything's done the gloss i used i think i need like a brown lip liner with it but anyway this is the lip glaze from natasha denona that i purchased the other day well purchased it like a week ago it came the other day and i did an unboxing video. This is number 05 Plum. I like the shade, but I think it washes me out a little bit. What I did different with my eyes was from the Mattes palette, I used this one in the outer corner. I think that was the only difference I did. I just realized I didn't do my lower lash line. And you know what? And we're not going to do my lower lash line. <laughs> Everything else I did I think was the same. I found that with the Scott Barnes crease brush, the number 62, I put the invoice somewhere because it says exactly what the brush is called. It is, I put it away. It's not right here. I found that with this crease brush, I could not go straight over with my um, crease color because um, it skipped on my skin because I do have extra skin and so I had to just lay it and just go straight across and come over go straight across and then come over and once the the color was down then I was able to go back and blend it used to always happen to me with any brush and with any shadow um, with the Eason brushes I was able to go just straight back and forth and so I kind of gotten used to that um, so I don't know if this I don't know, <laughs> but it's not a problem because I'm used to just going this way and then blending, going straight over and then blending. So that's nothing new. The fan brush, the number 61, I think this one is the fan brush. I don't know. <laughs> I really like this brush. I like that I was able to get this entire area because of the size of this brush. This I really like. I like the crease brush too. Very soft. This one I really liked for, <laughs> as you saw, holding it this way and just sweeping the color over. And when I dipped the color in the pigment, I dipped it on both sides. And so I swept it this way and I had the rounded side outward and just swept it over. And it went on really nicely. And it may not have been that noticeable because the colors are light. And then I just took it on this side again with the rounded side outward and just swept that over. And it does cover a wide area for my eye shape, for the space that I have. And so that was really nice just to sweep it this way. And when I put that dark brown there with the crease brush, I went back with the fan brush. I don't know which one is the fan brush. I call it the other one the fan brush. Whatever, this one is the number. <laughs> 63. I use this just to blend it over and to lightly sweep it up into the crease. But because it is a wider brush, it does cover my actual crease and above the crease. And so this would be great for blending whatever outer corner or outer V color that you use. And so I really like this brush. I like all three of them. So I will order a duplicate as I usually do. You guys know that. So this has a scent too that I'm not really liking. I don't think I'm going to keep this lip glaze. I don't know. It feels soothing though. So maybe just around the house. But then I wear chapstick around the house. I'm babbling. I'm going to go. Thank you guys for watching. But definitely 
this banana powder is going to go back because this just looking where I put it is noticeable and it's looking gray and I went over it with honey again and that didn't even balance it out so yeah banana is not for me I'm going to eat a banana with my oatmeal for breakfast but it's not good for my face so thank you guys for watching and you'll see me in the next video bye